Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It is good to be here once again. And I'm on week three with a day of gratitude. I think I want to call it a show. A day of gratitude show. Because they keep want to come out when I'm talking to people. Let me pray. Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for showing up and showing out in my life. I thank you that I'm just a vessel, a servant for you, fully committed to your way, to your will. Take over this flesh. Let your words come out of my mouth and continue to guide me by your spirit forgive me forgive me of all of my sins known and unknown be with the listeners today continue to hold their hands walk with them on this journey and lead and guide them by your spirit and let your perfect will be done in their lives and this is my prayer i pray in jesus name Amen. Okay, I started a day of gratitude. I started it with a conference call. And I've been having no shows. So I said, okay, God, what you want me to do with this? What you want me to do? I don't, I don't understand. So I'm not going to beg nobody. All I can do is present what... God tells me to present. So, I have gotten behind. Because actually this is week three. And I had a guess with week three. And we was having problems with my phone. For one thing, not doing what it's supposed to do. Technology. I was like, oh my goodness. So, I'm okay. So, I'm a little behind on that part of the ministry. And I'm going to catch up. So, this is to replace the guest that we did a recording. But it didn't come out like it's supposed to have come out. So I'm going to do this one here. It's going to be encouraging words from 2020 that still can be said in 2021. And watch the words come out of your mouth. We have to be careful what we speak out into the atmosphere. Because the enemy takes stuff and run with it. We might not have meant it a certain way, but the enemy takes it and uses it against us. So we got to watch the words coming out of our, our mouth. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And that's scripture. To God be the glory. Don't let me miss the lesson on my way to the blessings. And now this one here, a lot of these, I didn't say them every day, but it was in my prayer closet, I would say. And when I went into my prayer closet, I would read these. And I would meditate on them and I would just sit there in silence. Just me and the Holy Spirit. So this one is really meant to speak to Satan. You are uninvited. Get out. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. Headaches. Stress. Whatever your 
situation is at that time in that moment. Another one is, I decree and declare that the wealth of the wicked is no longer laid up for me. It is being released now. Let those who hold on to my wealth longer than they should be afflicted and tormented without relief until they release what rightfully belongs to me. I command Satan to cough it up, spit it out, loose it, release it, and let it go right into my pockets, my hands, my purse, my bank account. This one comes from T.D. Jakes. Lord, send me my confidence in your timing and your will. My constituents into what you are for. My Conrads, and that means they these are people that is not for you. They're against what you are against. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, give me a word for the people pain. Work your stuff, God. Show me how to work my angels. Teach me what to pray for. So my angels can go to work for me. Yes, God. Father, help me to discern your special plan and calling on my life. Give me the faith and courage to follow wherever you lead. If you constantly think prosperous thoughts, then irrespective of your actual situation, you will experience prosperity in the future because like attracts like. Holy Ghost, tell me what you need me to know to get out this fix I'm in this season. I know you have the answer. Speak to me. I need to hear from you what to hear, I'm sorry, I need to hear from you, want to hear from you, what part do I have in this? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help me to respond to the situations, problems, decisions, attacks of the enemy, the way you expect me to respond. I am the expression of God's infinite flow of substance. I am the expression of God's infinite flow of wisdom. To God be the glory. God fix the holes in my bucket. Make me complete in you. Help me God to jump in your arms. Sometimes that's all we got to do. Is jump in God's arms, be in his presence, mm, worship him in spirit and in and in truth. I feel healthy, I feel happy, successful, joyful, loving, secure. Money comes to me easily. I am a self mover. I am wealthy. Positive thoughts. A wellness or love can keep people healthy and even cure illnesses. Now this one here, I'm going to read what I wrote. And then I'm going to read it blank, blank. And then you can put in what you need to put in. And it says, this year is my nations of obedience, wealth, Ministry and overflow. Now, I'm going to read it again and then you fill in the blanks. This year is my nations of blank, 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 blank. However many blanks that you need. To God be the glory. 
Life is wonderful and beautiful. I'm God's possession. When it's God's possession, it's God's problem. I am his treasure. God will provide prayers. Be the source of all my needs. And that's in Philippians 4.19. Calm my restless heart regarding my finances. Luke 12, 29-31. Lord, give me strength to be the breadwinner of my home. And that's Proverbs 14.23. Relieve me of financial debt by paying back what I owe. And that's Proverbs 22 and verse 7. Help me to see the good in this situation. Lead me to the scriptures that will bring me the greatest benefits. To God be the glory. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in on this channel. Stay faithful to God. Repent of your sins. And give your life completely over to Jesus. He's waiting on you. He loves you. He wants to be your all in all. Let God handle your problems. Let God be God in your life. Choose today who you're going to serve. We can't be straddled of fence, have one foot over here and one foot over there, and be lukewarm. You got to mean Jesus all the way. To God be the glory. God, I thank you for what you have given me. A day of gratitude. The gratitude show. Thank you, Lord God, that the best is yet to come. We have so much to be grateful for and to be thankful for. That we have our life, our, our health, and our strength. We have our families and our, and our friends. We're not on, out on the streets. We don't do the same things that we used to do. We don't go the same places that we used to go. We don't talk the same way we used to talk. And we, don't, we shouldn't be thinking the same way we used to be thinking. Ask God for a change of, of, of mindset. That you can think on things that are positive. That are true. That is lovely. And that is pleasing in his sight. And God, I just thank you for everyone listening today. Whatever they're standing in need of. Give it to them according to your will. And let your perfect will be done in their lives. Open up their eyes to see what you see. Give them the spirit of discernment. Let them love on you. And let them show the love of Christ each and everywhere that they go. Every single day. And God, I just thank you that we can encourage one another. Uplift one another. And not to tear each other down. Thank you for the people that you have placed in my life. To God be the glory. Bless Latoya O'Keel, Shanika Byers, everybody that's standing up for Christ, that soul winners for your kingdom. Bless they going out and they coming in. Continue to speak to them. In a mighty, mighty way. And God, I just thank you. I praise you and I bless your holy name. I lift your name on high. I thank you for what you're doing. And what you have already done. And what you're going to do for us in the future. To God be the glory. Yes, the best is yet to come. Everything ain't looking crazy. But God is in control. He take care of us. He's going to be with us. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And God, I thank you. I stand on your word, on your truth, and on your promises. Yes, God, that's all I know. And thank you for tuning in. 
peace, love, and blessings. Until next time, God be with you.